Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Google Street View Profit Series. And I'm really excited because this video is where it comes down to the money. We wanna get paid, right? We wanna sell our first Google Street View virtual tour. So there's all types of ways this can happen for you. And I'm just gonna give you some examples of what you could do and some, some simple scripts and some ways to just really just go off and have some wins, okay? And go off and make some sales. But first, let's talk about the framework and the mindset. We'll work on some pitches as well and, and even some sales structures that work that are the same basically for every sale process that forever. I've been doing sales forever. This is really important to know that. But let's start with the basics, okay? Selling something, especially a service, comes down to one thing and one thing only. Can I help solve a problem that is currently in the mind of the customer. Current problems are all that matter. And your job as a salesperson is to align yourself with that problem and a solution, right? And, and really it's more of a result. So the solution comes third. First is a problem, then there's a result, then there is a bridge or a path or a solution to get there. And that's where you're gonna insert yourself later on um, when you go to make a pitch. Okay, but first you have to identify problems. You have to be problems centered, right? You have to be pain centered, okay? It's not about selling, it's not about the mechanism or the thing, okay? If you, if you get this order all screwed up, you will never make sales. And I think a lot of times in selling any technological service or digital service or anything that's somewhat technical, we want to talk about the features and how cool it is and it's 360 and it's interactive and you can look up and you can look down. Yes, those things are cool, but but they're, they're really just something to sprinkle on to, to, to the results that you're promising. It's the results matter more than the mechanism and the problem matters more than the results you are pitching. So it goes results, it goes problem first, results third, second, and then mechanism or how we solve that problem third. And you have to be the most adaptable and changeable when it comes to changing the mechanism. Like it doesn't matter to the customer what the mechanism is to, solve, to get that result. They just wanna solve that dang problem, okay? So we're gonna start there. And, and the way you can do this and frame this and pitch this is, is you can, it's okay to say, hey, my name's Zach. We help small business owners by creating Google Street View virtual tours that help their blank, 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 blank. I could say that help their local SEO, help their presence from lead generation standpoint on their Google Maps listing. Um, and, and in general, we just help the customer, you know, put on a good face for what they need, which is customers to experience their Google Maps listing in a positive way. So they have a ton of trust. So what? So they come, become a lead, become a sale. Right, so our job is to build that trust digitally. Um, and we do that through a variety of ways. And one of those ways is by creating Google Street View virtual tours. But before we go into all what we do, we do a lot of, we do a lot of cool things. Tell me about what y'all are doing now. What are your problems now? And where are you trying to get to? Like, and tell me like, what, what's your goals, man? Like, what, what, and what are the issues, right? So if you could ask the question, where are you now? And where are you trying to get to? And then you can ask the very simple question, what's holding you back from getting that result you're looking for? This is where problems start to arise, okay? And that's where you can pull threads as you listen. Like, so there's no perfect like question or, or, or a perfect pitch that I, I can present to you in this moment. It's you have to listen to the customer and actually care and really care, and then pull threads and ask more about what things they say. So if they quickly gloss over, yeah, we're supposed to do more social media, but instead we, we've been doing ads and here's what we've been trying to do and, and here's how much we spend. And, and so you could say, well, hold on a second, you say you're supposed to do more social media. What, what do you mean by that? What's that mean? You don't have to say, yeah, I agree, you should be, let's do social media for you. No, you just say, well, what do you mean by that? Why, why do you think you should, you should or shouldn't do that? So, oh, okay, you gotta listen to them, right? Just, oh, you're doing ads, how much are you spending? Well, why are you spending that much there? What, what, what makes you, you know, why not more organic, etc.? So you have to think and listen to what they are saying. And when you do that, your next step, right, is to ironclad figure out what their goal is. If you can, 
If you can do that, then you have a way to insert yourself into that as a solution. So if they understand the value of Google Maps, and they'll also understand the value of Google Street View, and that's whenever you start to pitch them, which is what we do, here's what it looks like, and then of course, here's the cost. So I've heard a lot of interesting ways to close this service, and you have a lot of options. You can offer your Google Street View virtual tour as your base level price, figure out it's 300 bucks, it's 600 bucks, figure out something that works, and then upsell $200 for a hosted tour. It's a Cloud Panda hosted tour. And then if you wanna have analytics on top of that, you highly recommend it, it's only 100 bucks a month. You know, so now you're, are we, and we have this whole lead generation package that we could sell you to as well too. And we could also help take care of your social media, which you mentioned a moment ago. And we'll completely do it all for you for only 300 bucks a month. So now you go from this one-time customer to a high check customer to a repeat customer that repays you recurrently. And it all ties in together. It solves what? Their problem and pain, which is they want to get more customers, but they reveal those pains to you, right? They reveal, the pain, what, what, what the pain does is it tells you, the service provider, what they think is really what they need to get to the next level. And they can't do it because of XXXX. Well, if you dial into that, you're gonna make a sale. Versus if you tell them, well, I think you need this, and here's what I think, here's what I think. That doesn't matter because that's not gonna help them. Their level of awareness is very low for what you think but the level of awareness is very high for what they say is they're paying the problem. And that's the easiest thing to, to help solve and therefore create a sale from it. So you gotta ask questions, you gotta listen, you gotta get really good at listening and prodding and pulling those threads. When you do that, you'll have a simple framework that goes into well, what you do and then how much it costs, and then you go into the close. The close is you really wanna I mean, you want to want to make sure you've built a case for how viable your stuff is, and of course, you're going to offer it only at this much, right? And if they say yes or no, if they say yes, great, move forward, get paid, send an invoice, use leastact.ai to send an invoice and get paid. They have automatic signatures, it looks professional, just use that tool for your invoicing mechanism. But if they say no, there's only three reasons they say no, partner or spouse, money, or time, I need some time. Learn to overcome these, these are all basically the three main objections to anything, okay? Time means you're losing money over time. I, I can help you now, I'm here now, let's get it done now, right? <laughs> Your partner was gonna love you for doing it because it's gonna make you look better, right? They, and you can always, it's better to apologize than it is to ask for permission, right? Or nothing gets done. And number three is money, right? Uh, well, what if I do half now, half later, or give you a discount on this other service, et cetera? Or could you give me three referrals and give you a hundred bucks off? All of a sudden, discount goes away, but you grow your business organically through free marketing methods, just call it a referral, right? This is what small business owners love. This is how you sell, understand the problem, understand the solution, or, or, or the goal, and then insert your solution based on their needs, okay? Hope this is helpful. Go sell your first one for 500 bucks. Walk in the door, present yourself with a smile, button that second button, brush your hair, wear some, shave your face, have some cologne on, look nice, be respectful, and of course, have a flyer in your hand and be ready to pitch. And always, always, always have your stuff in the car so you can close and you can fulfill the same day. Okay, go sell your first one, do a discount, get a referral, and then go get used to winning. Get 10 no's and get one yes, it's a good day. Okay, hope this is helpful. Let's go out there and start selling. All right, talk soon.